changing the destiny of Uganda in the fight against HIV AIDS through hard hitting messages delivered by religious leaders is what the Uganda AIDS Commission believes will help curb the rising infection rates that is at times due to ignorance. Jude Mulindo is a 20 year old living in Rakai who admits that he could not realize what had killed his father since they were not aware of the epidemic, not until doctors in Kalisizo Hospital disclosed following the long illness of his mother. <laughs> Since then, life has not been the same. With nowhere to sleep after their house was severely destroyed by heavy rains, among other basic needs. However, the Uganda AIDS Commission has embarked on a campaign to give a clear, accurate, consistent, and simple message to be communicated to the people in a manner and language that can stimulate the desired behavioral action to be able to nip the spread of the virus in the bud. The Uganda AIDS Commission chairman, Vina Natula, says the onus is on the individual to make conscious choices that will affect those around him positively. Take the decision. Do you want to protect yourself or you don't? Do you want to protect your wife or husband or you don't? Do you want to protect your child or you don't? Because if you do, whichever you decide, there are ways that the religious leaders that are key stakeholders in the HIV fight have been tasked to disseminate a message of raising a generation of HIV-free babies, keeping the young generation free of HIV, and to take leadership for the HIV struggle. The message that we put forward is a message that speaks to the people, that delivers a message of change, that delivers a message of transformation, not just a message. Messages like cheating, use a condom, and cheated test will probably not be heard again as all messages will be vetted before they make it to the airwaves. According to statistics 